So I briefly talked about this in a video um, where I showed you guys down, showed you guys down, showed you guys the completely stripped down DaVinci 3D printer that I had on the floor of my room that I had basically taken apart every single possible thing that there was to take apart. And that is that my 3D printer is currently decommissioned. And um, it has been not working for, I want to say, at least a month now. I feel like it stopped working right around the time school started, so at least a month, maybe coming up on two months. And it didn't screw up on its own, so that's a good thing. Um, I screwed it up. <laughs> uh, those of you that know, I basically was planning on upgrading the hot end so I can print um, you know, maybe a little bit higher resolution as well as different materials. I really have been um, wanting to try out the Ninja Flex or rubbery, um, you know, filament material so I can print out a few different things and just see how well it works. And so I was really interested in upgrading my uh, 3D printer's hot end. Well, because when you are upgrading stuff that is, you know, essentially third party, this, this hot end upgrade was not from XYZ printing, you know, it wasn't from the company that made the printer, it was from a third party company. Um, there's always the chance that things won't go smoothly, especially since it's not really anticipated or created for this machine specifically. And I 3D printed out all the parts and, um, you know, assembled it based off of, um, there was a guy that had a video or a series of videos that was like an hour long. So I kind of like followed his, his process and I put it all back together and I was having issues getting the um, filament to feed through. It was like feeding through, but not good enough. And, um, you know, I could get it to load and unload, but it wouldn't print for some reason. Well, I then took everything apart, tightened things up and, you know, just double checked everything. And when I put it back together, I got an error. Um, and basically the hot end was not heating up at all. So it's throwing out an error. Um, I can't remember the exact error, uh, not code, but like message that it was giving me. And I Googled it a little bit and I saw a few different things, but I didn't really, didn't really try messing with it too much. And then I got caught up with school and work and stuff like that. So it's just been, it was sitting on my floor for a while and now I put it back in my closet because I was tired of seeing it and I was tired of hearing my brother say, ow, from kicking it since it was indeed in the middle of my room. Um, anyways, so yeah, and the thing is, here, here's also the reason why I have not gone about fixing it. It's that I know how things go when you are trying to do something again for the first time. And I've talked about this before. It's never, or, you know, not never, but it's usually not just like, hey, plug this into that and da-da. That's never the case. It's, it's like you got to start off with obviously doing your Googling, like with some keywords, trying to figure out, like, you know, type in the error message. Then you got to go through the forums and you got to see other people's um, you got to read through all the threads to see what other people did and the outcome, whether it worked or didn't work. Um, then you've got to try that yourself, you know, and that's trial and error. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Then you've got to post messages in the forums and wait for a response from somebody. So it's just like, it, it's, I know in my mind that it's a pretty detailed process and I just know the steps that are involved, which has like been such a turnoff for me um, when it comes to fixing this. But I really miss having my 3D printer and I know there's like tons of just unnecessary things that I really want to print out. Um, so I need to get it back together. Um, again, I, in my mind too, I talked about building another 3D printer, but I want this one up and rock and rolling before I start hammering out parts for a, uh, another 3D printer, uh, which I am really excited for and to do as well. So hopefully, hopefully soon, maybe even today after this, I will have some energy and I can start at least taking baby steps towards getting this thing up and running. And worst case scenario, if I can't get that third party hot end to work, I'll just rip it out and try installing the original one back in and maybe I'll have luck with that, you know, getting it back to at least the point it was before. So uh, we'll see. And then if it, if I find out anything crazy or I am able to fix this problem, I'll probably, probably, I, I will make a video on it showing what exactly I did. That way, hopefully others that have a similar issue with this printer will, you know, be able to see the video and fix it. So, um, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Dope Swinner, and I'm out. Peace. Hey guys, don't forget to hit the like button on the bottom of this video, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe for new great videos every single week, including monthly giveaways. Thank you so much for checking out this video, and I'll see you guys next time.